Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Joe Football Show. Leeds United have just beaten Blackburn Rovers 2-0 at Ewood Park. Comfortable, light work, easy work. Leeds United these days don't even have to get out of second gear for me. Of course, all the praise goes to them because Blackburn are a good side. You're not seventh in the championship by luck. Do you see what I'm saying? OK, at home, they're not great, but we nullified them. Any attacks they had, even in the second half when they had a lot of the ball, they just could not get through. Melier got a clean sheet. Let's not forget these two sides have big chances created the most in the league with 53 apiece. Now, of course, there wasn't chances at a plenty. Maybe we nullified each other, cancelled each other out a little bit. But what Leeds were was clinical. I can't remember any big chances, really, for Blackburn to be able to get on the end of. And any that did come, either Melier dealt with or Rodon and Strout were just there. Both them two, again, imperious. Archie Gray was just doing Archie Gray things without being heavily involved, although today he did get an assist, which I'm absolutely buzzing for. We've seen Jed Spence for the first time at left-back. Byram's got a knock. Let's hope is okay, but what Spence did show me is that he can also play left back, and we've seen them little flashes going forward, and we also seen his involvement with the recovery speed. If he does lose the ball, if it gets caught under his feet, he can get back and win it with, with ease at times, you know? So we've been questioning, like, oh, when's he going to start at right back? We might start seeing him at left back now. Do you know what I mean? And I'm okay with that because he looked fine there. It's a massive three points. It's cut the gap to four to Ipswich. Of course, if you're watching this after the Ipswich game, but I've got a feeling Borough might get something against them. At which point, my prediction of Leeds being in that top two by January the 1st is going to happen. Trust and believe. Look, I don't think we were amazing today. By any stretch of the imagination, I'll come back to it. I don't think we got out of second gear. You know, we made Sam, Sammy Schmodix quiet. This is the top scorer in the league. That Moran had got five assists in five games. Kept quiet. Leeds United did everything that they needed to do in order to come away from Ewood Park with three points. And what it also has done... There's not too much energy exerted in that game. It was a nice, comfortable, calm, we're going up as champions type of performance. Do you know what I mean? So I'm absolutely buzzing with them. Dan James and Somerville get on the score sheet again. Dan James has finished, by the way. This guy now, it's mad the change that's happened for Dan James. Start of the season, whenever he goes through on goal, I think he's going to mess it up. I have a go at him. Now, he goes through on goal, you go, yeah, this is going in the back of the net. Do you know what I mean? And that first goal, I want to give props to all of them. Like, Rodon and Gray, great defending, that right-hand channel that they operate in, and it ends up going up the other end and we find the back of the net. Rutter finds it, tries a bit of trickery. Quite funny because the Ewood Park faithful all started mocking him because he, he sort of did fall over the ball. But his power, his strength, his physicality meant he kept hold of the ball. He plays in Dan James, so that's another assist for Rutter. Might actually be the most in the league now. And Dan James finds the corner. No bother at all. Great finish. And then props to Archie Gray. You know, Archie Gray ain't shy for coming forward. Put a lot of pressure on himself, really, with this Guardian piece, talking about England captain Ballon d'Or, Champions League with Leeds. Yeah, it might have been tongue-in-cheek, but the ambitions of this guy know no bounds. And today was great again. And also got an assist for Somerville. And Somerville showed Rutter, this is how you chip a goalkeeper. Naturally, it came off the keeper and he got a bit fortuitous with it, but we find the back of the net. The mad thing is as well, Leeds United now have nearly played every difficult team away from home. Do you know who have we got now? West Brom at the Hawthorns, Middlesbrough at Riverside. Outside of that, I mean, I think Plymouth away will be tough, but the rest of them now have to come to Ellen Road. And guess what, folks? We ain't been beating Ellen Road. This team is on the boil. Do you know what I mean? You know when you're cooking some rice? Because that's what we're doing with cooking the championship. And, you know, and you get told to bring it to the boil. The teams ahead of us at the minute, they've had their crescendo. We ain't even got started for me. That that performance today was light work. Like, tell me, at any point during that game, were you concerned? At any point? The answer is no. To that question, the answer is no. And if you were, then you're talking rubbish. Once we get the goal, it was like, yeah, this is nice. Of course, you're always like, yeah, we need a second. But at, not at one point was I troubled. Not at one point. And I see your confidence and now still say with chest, as I did when we battered Watford, we will go up. And I still believe that we'll be in the top two come January the 1st. Ipswich have got to go to Borough. They play Norwich. They play Leicester and they play Leeds. Come on now. Let's do it. We've got the best man for the job in Daniel Farker, leading the ship, steering the ship, HMS pissing the league, because he knows what it takes. This Christmas period, them other managers, they've not had to do this before, but Daniel Farker has, so he knows how to navigate it. I mean, we haven't tasted defeat in like seven games of football now. 
You know what I mean? One draw against Rotherham in there. We've now got to go to Sunderland, which won't be an easy place to go. Hopefully, they don't get a new manager in, but I think they've actually made the wrong decision in sacking Mowbray. And then we play Coventry at home, by the way, where we're unbeaten. Like, things are looking good. I have no worries about Leeds United. I think the performance overall was just what it needed to be. I thought Willie Nonto looked bright when he came on. I mean, Gruyev was playing in the 10 when he came on. We see Matteo Joseph. I thought Matteo Joseph looked bright as well. The signs are really, really positive for me. And as I keep saying, top two by January 1st, then by game 46, we'll be up. It is what it is. I am not worried one bit. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace out.